Would you mind telling me why you are here? I think you already know that. What makes you think that? You know my name. I've been searching around this island for weeks, asking questions, poking around. I'm sure you know more than you're saying. I have heard stories, but uh, I would prefer to hear it from you, in your own words. My husband and my son were taken here to Malta against their will, and I came here to find them. And did you? Almost. I was so close. I came here to the church, and they were here. But then they were taken away from me again. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay, because I'm staying here until I find them, and I'm not going home without them. I would be on that bench right there, praying and it hoping that some... It seems like you would do anything to get them back, no? I didn't... I didn't kill the friar. I... I had nothing to do with that. I have no idea what happened to him. I swear to you, I had absolutely nothing to do so with his death. So you were never in the clock tower? For a moment I was. I, but I didn't see him there or anybody, and I didn't push anybody. And I, I could never drag a body into the alley. Look, I can't stay here right now. I, I really have to... Forgive me, senora. If it were up to me, I would send you on your way, but... Uh, so you can resume your search. Well, why don't you do that? But I have to take you to the station to conduct a proper interrogation. No, I, I cannot go with you because my husband and my son are out there somewhere and I have to find them before something else happens to them. I have no choice. Take Senora Snyder to the prefecture for interrogation at once. I, I don't understand. All I did was come here to pray. Is that against the... Are you working for Dante? I work for the people of Malta. Why is Dante doing this? I told him that I would give him what he wanted. How can I do that from jail? Take her away. No! Please don't do it! Please! What difference does it make if Lily wants to spend the night at the church? I still can't believe you let a guy back up there. Stop saying that I let her do things, Simon. I am not her mother. Look, she's she's upset right now, okay? She's in no state to make decisions like that. I know, I understand that. But if it makes her feel better to be at the church praying for Luke and Holden, then that's what she should be doing. Where are you going? Well, I'm going to go find Lily and talk some sense into her, aren't I? Right. And when you're trying to talk sense into her, she's going to have one question for you. Have you found Damien? And what are you going to tell her? No. No, I haven't. No, I... No. But I'm getting some... But, I'm, but, but I'm... what? Why bring her bad news? She's already freaked out enough that Dante told her she has one week to bring Damien to him. One week. Days have gone by. We found nothing. We've looked and looked. You went to Sicily. This guy does not want to be found, all right? This is not a big island. So what are you saying, Katie? What are you saying? We just give up? No, of course we don't give up. But at least let her be in the church and have her hope. She's all by herself out there, though, you know? I know. I understand that. But if you... Did you ever think that maybe she's staying away from us as a favor? What do you mean? So you and I can be alone, like a husband and wife should be. Lily's not the only one that needs you. Look. Katie, I'm... Look, I'm sorry, okay? I know you're feeling neglected. But hey, think of all the benefits. What benefits? Well, look, I'm, like, kind of... An expert on marriage, right? Yeah, five times over. You don't need yeah, to Yeah, okay, but I've worked out that every relationship follows a kind of a pattern. You know, it's pretty predictable. Okay, first there's um, the attraction, right? And then you go out, and then there's great sex. Sounds good so far. It is. And then you get married. And there's more great sex, and then it all becomes a bit too familiar, and then the, the, the fire goes out, and the thrill is gone, and the marriage is over. So you're saying the longer we don't have sex, the longer our marriage will last. Bingo! That's exactly it. Don't you get it? Yeah. And it's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. So, how many bodies do you think he's got stuffed in that fridge? Uh... Oh, and listen, I was kind of curious, I was wondering, about that bomb that you planted in the boathouse. Did somebody pay you to do that, or...? She didn't have to pay me. Who didn't? Julia. Julia Snyder. I love her. We're gonna get married. I did it for her. So we could be together forever. But you're getting in the you way... stay away from me, you... 
You, you hurt Julia, poking your nose where it doesn't belong, asking questions, looking at secret files. Don't blame Emily. Don't blame Emily. I made her do those things. She did not want to do it. She wanted to help you. Mm -hmm. How? By finding information out about you so that people would understand you better. What did she find out? That you're a bright, resourceful, educated man. Right, Emily? Uh, right, right. It, especially, you know, about, about weapons and, and explosives, all that stuff. I'm fascinated by all that. You are? And not only that, but Emily was once in a hospital just like you and Julia, so she knows what it's like. Really? Really? Uh, I hated being locked up, you know, watched all the time, you know. And the worst part was when, when they wouldn't let me see my, my child unless they said it was okay. So I, I worked really, really hard at getting better, just like, just like you did. That's why I admire you so much, Owen, because I know how hard you've worked to get to where you are. And, and I know the, the only reason you probably hurt me was because you were afraid you were going to get locked up again, right? You're pretty. You think so? Yeah. And you're nice, too. Not like I thought you were. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just get a little nervous, you know, in crowds and... Actually, I have to go someplace. And, and it makes me really nervous. Where? The courthouse? Yeah, I... And I'm really nervous to go there alone, so I was hoping... I was hoping that maybe you could come with me. It's <laughs> pretty good, huh, Carly? Yeah, I've been exercising, working out a little bit, kickboxing, weights. You know, they tell us that exercise is real good for you, relieves stress. That's what they say in the old nut hut, as you so quaintly put it. What do you want? Just to take a little drive. Look, if this is about Jack, there's no point, okay? We're, we're not together anymore. Then why... Are his things still here? Huh? Don't lie to me, Carly. And don't try and distract me. You are not going to duck out this time and let some innocent bystander, bystander? take your what punishment. What are you talking about? Oh, you really are a walking blonde joke, aren't you? Come on, Carly. Try and look at the big picture. Now, you're here, and Barbara Ryan is... Where? Just, just in the hospital. But I... Ah, there we go. The light dawns. Mm-hmm. Now, did you ever bother to ask yourself, why would anybody want to blow up poor Barbara? You set the bomb. Well, there you go. Ding, ding, ding. Give the little lady a stuffed pan. But I saw you. <laughs> At the hospital, you, you, your wrists, they were watching oh, you. Carly, it pays to be a likable person. You know you can get people to do almost anything you want them to? And you wanted me dead. So you, you got somebody to blow up the boathouse. Oh, well, it made sense at the time. You know, you, you had a date with my husband. You could have killed Jack. You know, you almost did. Why? What should I have done, Carly? Huh? Just let him pick you? No. No, 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 no. I never get picked. Never, never, never. But Jack picked me, and he wanted me, Carly. He did. Only me, until you came back. But enough about me. <laughs> Plenty of time for girl talk on the way up. Let's go. No, I'm not, I'm not going anywhere with you. Now, Carly. No, you just want to get me out to some abandoned field so you can blow my brains out? Yeah. I'm not going to make it that easy for you. If you want to kill me, you're going to have to kill me right here and now. Poor misguided Carly. Always thinking she gets to be in control. Let me give you a little tip. The lady with the gun gets to call the shots. 